All right, guys, today we're doing another project, which I love doing these projects so much. This is another machine that's on its way out, and it's the Cushman Truckster. Let me, uh, let me show you it right here. All right, this thing is, uh, has seen some better days. It's uh, pretty beat up, and it's running rough. Needs a lot of TLC, and let's face it, it's not the prettiest thing to be driving around for people to look at. Uh, it's just really worn and tired. So, what I'm gonna do is try to save its life and uh, give it the TLC it needs, tune up, some belts, oil change, uh, this is another one. The tire keeps going flat. I got to find the leak in that now. And, uh, it just squeals really loud when you start it. But we're going to try to fix it up for as little as possible. Um, so the whole idea is to save money. And try to make this thing run and look presentable enough, if not like new, so that they decide to keep it. And I gotta tell you, these Cushman Trucksters, when they run, they are workhorses. All right, um, so I'm really hesitant about giving my thoughts on getting rid of it when I know what I can do, do to it. I've done it to other machines you'll see on my uh, videos below. But I got faith in this machine and I wanna keep it around another couple more years. So I'm gonna spend the next couple of days um, bringing this thing back to life and giving it a makeover. All right, I, as usual, I'm not gonna film the entire process, but I'll turn the camera on in different stages and uh, keep you guys updated on my progress. The first thing I like to do is get the machine down to its base. Um, typically, these kinds of machines, the technicians never wash them. They're usually filled with sand, logs, garbage, all kinds of stuff. They're just workhorses, so these things have a lot of uh, dirt and grease on them. And uh, if I'm gonna be able to get the job done right and get this thing looking new, I'm gonna have to get it down to its base. So I took it out, you can see here, it's still wet, but I uh, ran it through the, the power washer and gave it a good wash. I turn the light on here. All right. So. Now that uh, motor there, you couldn't even see before, that was just covered in grease. Looks like somebody had been under here with some paint before because that looks like it's painted over. Um, not my work. Very crappy job there. But, uh, yep, it's wet. Everything looks much nicer when it's wet, but when it starts to dry, it's going to look like crap again. But, uh, what I plan to do is I want to do some uh, undercoating in here on the framework. Certainly under the bed, this is where it all rusts out. So we're gonna undercoat that and get some from Napa. And the, uh, the bed here, that's all gonna be reshot. And we already have a bed liner on here. So I don't really need to do too much there, but you can see our tailgate is pretty beat up. This is all gonna get repainted. Now all these dents and dings, not really gonna waste time getting them out because let's face it, once I finish this job, the guys are just gonna beat it up again and it will never look new again after that day. All right, you can see I've uh, started to tape this up now. We're on day two and uh, we're gonna get to spraying. See, a lot of this painted up here. Those seats are really annoying me. Our dash is still drying. Still got to do the steering wheel. But uh, the hood got a really nice, come out really nice shine to it. The whole front end. Undercoating. 
very important on these machines. All this undercarriage here. We've got one coat on already. We're gonna do some more. This is a good technique. All right, so we are now on day two. Um, I got everything taped up. I did some painting yesterday. We're not really ready to reveal it yet. Um, what I'd like to do is build some wood around this bed here. So I wanna come up probably about 12 inches. So I'm gonna put some two by 12s around the, uh, here, around the back, and then around that side. Perfect. All right, we got our four supporting posts in the corners. Got them painted. All right. All right, we got all of our wood cut and uh, nailed up there. All right. And what I want to do now is clean this wood up and put some stain on it. My decals up here, these are discontinued. Um, I went through all this work on the machine and really not digging these chipped up decals. So I'm on the fence on what to do with them. Um, the top here, I guess, used to be red. So the white pinstriping is okay. It's got some scratches. I could leave that. Um, but this, I'm trying to think of what to do here. If you come around to the front, you can see the bottom stripes are okay, but that top uh, part is not. So what I'm thinking, and on this side, what I'm thinking about doing is painting this red. I got it all taped up. I got the first coat of paint on. It is going to take a couple coats. I couldn't get all that sticker off. But uh, it's certainly going to look much better than, than it did. Uh, you know, rather than having that peeled up sticker uh, flaking off on there. Taped off. Let's take a look. Look at that. All right, so we are on day three. This is the final day that I want to be able to put into this uh, machine. And uh, one of the things that was really annoying me, remember the bed was really beat up on this, and I couldn't replace the whole bed, but I did have a... Uh, I did get another tailgate for it, and you can see that one. After I had actually repainted it, I mean, it just really accented the dents and the damage, and that thing was pretty beat up. So, I put this one on here. It's wet right now, and I'm trying to preserve the white Cushman, so that's all taped off. That took me a while to really tape that off. Um, but you can see that's a much smoother tailgate. So uh, letting that dry, and then we're going to peel this tape off, and I'll probably have to hand paint some of that white because it was kind of scratched up, but it is white under there. That's just yellow tape on there that I had painted over, and we have our red line here that we're going to have to retouch up also. Another thing that was uh, really, really bad shape on this machine was the seats. They were just real bad, tore up. They got to be replaced. Uh, also, the metal that was underneath of it, if you remember, was a, a silver diamond plate. If you look back in the video, um, I wanted to repaint that too. Uh, I I'm typically don't like chrome or silver on a vehicle. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Painted it all black. And I think that's going to make the uh, seats pop out real nice when I put the new seat covers on. That's the seats there. Got them off and got me some nice new uh, Hunter green fabric, some vinyl. And we're going to rewrap them.
Oh, got that. Bolts in the back of these uh, these seats right here were uh, stripped out, so we had to cut them off. All right, guys. So we are completed with the project, and it's been two and a half days. So this is approximately um, how many hours? So we got 16, 20 hours of work, and estimated costs. We have. 50 bucks in new vinyl for the seat and we got about $60 in paint undercoating and stuff like that uh, so we're looking at about 110 115 dollars and two to two and a half days of labor to make it look like this now here's the before picture and here is the after Complete transformation. I mean, look at this, the seats and how they used to look. The dash, all redone. Floors, all redone. Rims, redone. I mean, it's just a totally different beast. Wow. Wow. You can see we got the, uh, the wood on the back here. Pretty awesome. I wish we had a better bed. That one was a little banged up, but still, total difference. Until my next restoration project, I will see you guys next time. Remember, please hit subscribe below. Give me a like. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I do these videos daily, and I'll see you guys next time.